All right, so once the once the bolt's out, the pulley just simply pulls away, and you can see it's got a key slot right there where it slips onto the the crank on the top, so it's lined up properly. All right, but now at this point the timing belt's pretty loose, so we'll jump up to the next step and um, we'll be right back. Action! <laughs> Such a dork. I know. All right, so I broke away the balance belt tensioner uh, roller nut with my handlebar breaker bar. Now I've got it loose. I'm just gonna kind of loosen her up so that I can turn the sprocket and slide it away so that the balance belt clears. And at this point, the balance belt's almost off. And look at the fine condition of it. We need to get the uh, spanner now to pull the balance belt sprocket out so that we can take this off, unless the idler roller comes out. Does it say? I think the idler roller is just Right, watch yourself. Yep. Okay, so the balance belt is Removed from the car at this point, like I said, it looks perfect, like it's never been used. But again, three year rule, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of it. <laughs> what are you doing? Getting the damn picture of it so we'll be able to see how freaking nice it is. Well, it doesn't really matter since it's going in the trash. Oh, okay. Okay, next step getting the timing belt off. Yep. So before we go any further, I just wanted to take a really quick um, pause here because there's something that's critical. So this is the first time I've had the um, belt covers off the car and taken an actual look to determine um, about the condition of the water pump. Um, and the, the, I, before I did this, I made the decision that if I have an updated water pump based on most of the service that I can see has been done to the car, I'm not going to replace the water pump. Because um, it doesn't leak, seems to hold water, uh, and again, the condition on, on most of the major parts as I've uncovered them is sufficient to me to say that at least at one point in this car's life it did have a PO with some sensibility and um, had seen a good uh, run of maintenance, but the uh, the way to identify whether or not you have an updated water pump is if it has this belt guard in place. Can you back that light just a little bit? There you go, perfect, right there. Thanks. It has this belt guard in place because only the updated water pumps have the the mounting uh, studs and as a provision to mount this guard which kept the belt from flying away from the water pump and away from its track in the event uh, or when the car was cold and when it was just freshly started. So Porsche identified this as a problem early in the life of 944s and uh, accordingly updated the water pump to include this, these two studs and this um, this guard, this belt guard. So most of the reputable parts resellers um, only sell updated water pumps and um, accordingly when you order your belt kit it's very important that you recognize that um, whether you have an updated water pump or not and then when you make the determination if you want to replace it but nonetheless when you do order your belt kit you'll need to order it either for the OEM pump or for the updated pump. So in my case, obviously, um, a 
good enough fortune to know that I do have to go in and get the updated pump variation. So I'm holding the camera cock cockeyed right now so I can get a good shot of that. So I'm going to straighten it out. So if you're looking at it from the front, this is what it would look like from an angle perspective. Okay, so here's the top roller from the water pump or the kind of upper right hand corner roller as it were. Here's the guard timing belt you can see working its way around the camshaft pulley down through the channel over there into the balance area